Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. I'll be making chicken enchiladas. I'll be boiling my chicken for about a half hour to 45 minutes to get it nice and tender. And while I'm making that, I'm going to be doing also rice on the side with rice aroni, chicken rice aroni, and some refried beans. But I'm here to show you on how I'm actually making my chicken enchiladas. But while that's going, I poured some green sauce in the bottom of my pan just enough to cover it. Okay, while I'm bringing my rice to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and show you what else I use. Other than the enchilada sauce, I use fajita seasoning, salt, and pepper. You can also use taco seasoning if you'd like, but I don't recommend it. The fajita gives it the extra little flavor. I also will be using some Mexican four cheese and some Colby Jack. I'm preparing this also for a rice bowl that we can have with leftovers, which will be with lettuce and tomatoes and all of the other ingredients, the rice, the beans, the chicken, but and then salsa and sour cream. Okay, I'll be back with you in just a second, y'all. Be sitting here for a minute. Once it starts to fall, where you can stab into it, I will take some. Use the fork, chicken, start to get it chopped up, put it back in there. Do that with all of them. And then let it cook some more. Make sure it's nice and tender. I will put a little bit of fajita seasoning in the water. I'll also be putting it in some of the chicken one after I shred it. But I'll also make this more tender having some of the seeds I need in it. Waiting for my rice to come to a boil because I put chicken seasoning in it. Once it comes to a boil, I will put the lid on and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Now that my chicken's done, I will be draining it. And I'm just going to put it over in my glass bowl. And I'm going to use the mixer to shred it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this so that way you don't have to listen to the, all that noise and racket. Okay, now that I got it sh shredded, it'll, there'll be some of it on your mixer thing. you want to get off. But the mixer will shred it like that. Okay, since I won't be using all of this chicken for the enchiladas, I'll be putting about half of it over into another.
Reese Precious, go lay down. Sorry, my dogs are in here. And then what I'll do is I'll add some fajita sauce or seasoning to it. I'm going to put some Mexican cheese in it, about a cup. Mix it up real good. I'm going to add a little bit of the green sauce to make it moist. And then all I do with this, you can use any size torts. Use a tort. Put some chicken in it. And I go to roll it. But as I go to roll it, I use my finger on the sauce, put some along the edges. And that'll help hold it together. And I just repeat with them. And I layer them in my pan. Okay. I rolled them all up. Then I put enchilada sauce over the top. After the enchilada sauce, I just put cheese over the top. Then I put it in the oven for about a half hour to get the cheese nice and melted. In the meantime, that was my rice. My rice is done. So next, what I'm going to do is warm up some refried greens. Then I'm going to have tomatoes and lettuce on the side with rice and green or refried beans along with that. Okay, it's been about a half hour. That was hot. They'll look like that when they come out. I'm also going to show you. No, no rice with refried beans. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed it, and hope y'all lo love my recipe. I know my family loves this recipe. Y'all have a blessed evening now. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down in the corner. Thank you, and have a blessed day.